Sega. Hello all and welcome to another video for Total War Warhammer. My name is Joey Dalton and I'm joined by Darren McNally who has played through this battle as the Empire versus the Chaos Warriors. And uh, Darren, tell us a little bit about this map, where we are and, and what you're doing. Alright, so we're up in the northern areas of uh, Norska and uh, we're defending as Empire against the Chaos Warriors. So this is a custom battle that we've played previously or I played it previously and uh, we're kind of commentating over it uh, in hindsight like we've done with the uh, Vampire Siege. Uh, so we're playing at the Golden Monolith, it's just a really nice looking map. It's also available on the campaign map, if you if you find it on the map you can just go fight there if you wish. Um, so I thought I'd do this in custom battle, it's a good example of defending against the Chaos uh, Warriors Horde as they come down into your lovely lush green empire territories and lay waste to everything. So it's a good example of what you can experience in the campaign. And uh, So yeah, so let's take a look really quickly over at their armies. Also, just to know, everything you see in the Chaos Warrior Army will be present for you to fight against, whether you pre-order or not. Right, so here we go. This is the Chaos Chariot. They're armoured and they're anti-infantry. They're looking absolutely badass as yeah, well. Yeah, pretty terrifying, <laughs> I've got to say. Look at their horns. Yeah, so everything everything with Chaos is embroidered again with skulls and spikes and metal and just, you know, like, really, really evil looking kind of race. Um, so over here we have the Chaos Knights, again armoured and shielded. You've got flames coming off the hooves of their, uh, their cavalry and their eyes as well. Even their shields have flames just coming off them constantly. I think their shields are amazing! Uh, then we've got the Chaos Warhounds, which have scaly skin. They're very fast and they're weak to armour. So scaly skin is like a type of armour? Yeah, so they're, they're good against missiles essentially and they're super fast so they can actually just basically dodge them. Uh, Chaos Marauders, which are your kind of basic infantry, your kind of low tier basic infantry. Uh, they're shielded, so they're decent in combat as well. But behind them we have the Chaos Warriors themselves, which are the armored and shield, which are also armored and shielded. They're kind of just the upgrade to the Marauders. They're much more powerful, much stronger in melee, much stronger in defense. Then over here we have the Chosen. Now these guys are, these guys. It's getting pretty serious now when you get over these guys. They're looking pretty badass. They've got even more spikes on their shields. And that basically means that they're more armored and they're more shielded, and they're very, very powerful in melee combat. Um, and they have their great weapons variant over here which means they ditch the shield and they just use two hands for their sword, uh, for their weapon here and it's extremely powerful really good armor piercing damage on them as well so those are the guys we want to watch out for the most in this battle I'm, I think I'm watching out for this guy <laughs> that's true actually so this is the chaos giant uh, pretty much does what it says on the tin he's massive and he's ripped to, to shreds with bones and stuff all through I his love the skin and his face though. That's what we got here. Hell Cannon's really cool. It's got like bulging organic material on the back. Um, and it's like this just insanely massive death machine that they can wheel around. You said it. Um, here we have the Chaos Trolls. Um, basically, again, do what they say in the tin. They, they can regenerate. They have poor leadership. So what happens a lot with these guys is they go into combat. They kind of do a lot of damage. Then they kind of back out. They regenerate and come back in. Um, they can flee pretty quickly. Yeah, and speaking of, I think they have fleas all over them. You can see them picking yeah. picking away at themselves. Uh, then over here, lastly, we have the Chaos Warhounds. These are the poison, poison variation. Um, so you notice they have a kind of greenish tint to them as well. Um, basically, poison does uh, speed damage and damages your overall strength as well. So when you get attacked by them, you're not as powerful. So you want to watch out for them. Again, just like a more powerful version of the other Warhounds. Um, so the, the fade to black there, just for people who are wondering, is basically I had to ena enable a dev command to allow me to see beyond the fog of war to show you those units, because uh, I am playing as the Empire, and normally they're hidden in the shroud, so I've just re-enabled that, went out and went back in, and here I am playing as the Empire. That's the Reichsguard unit there, you might have seen them in an introducing video, they're like really good shock cavalry, and then I just have some spears on the flanks, these are just spearmen, a uh, pretty basic infantry unit. It's worth mentioning, we've got... Um, uh, Carl Franz fighting this battle, which we'll get to in a second, against RK on the Ever Chosen. And a Celestial Wizard down here as well. Celestial Wizard that you might have noticed from Blackfire Pass on the announced trailer that we did a long time ago. Um, and Carl Franz riding Deathclaw up here. Um, I always think Deathclaw is really cute from behind because you can see his little paws. <laughs> he's not meant to be cute. <laughs> no, he's ferocious. He's got claws on the front. He is ferocious and very menacing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Carl Franz has got his emblem embroidered on him as well on this, on this breastplate. Um, so over to the army then, we've just got more sword infantry on the left. Um, we've got great swords which will move over into the center. These are like the really high tier unit. 
Um, you know, they're called great for a reason. They're basically the best you can get. They're very, very powerful high tier sword infantry. And I've put them in my front lines, really hold off the Chaos uh, Warriors invasion of like, you know, the Chosen and the really high tier infantry that they're going to throw at me. Then we have the Halberdiers, That's right. um, which is another Empire unit. Um, basically another high tier Empire unit that's really good against anti-large, so it's they're perfect for fighting the Giant or the Trolls or any kind of cavalry as well. Uh, so here we have the Hellblaster Volley Gun, uh, which essentially has like nine barrels on it. It's kind of far as like almost like a minigun. And it's then short range, right? Very short range. Um, and then we have the opposite to that, which is the Hellstorm Rocket Battery, which is like very long range. Um, but does a lot of splash damage. So one is very focused and short range, one is very long and, and splashy, essentially. These and are the hand gunners? Yep, yeah, these are the hand gunners. Then I've got two of these at the back, just kind of firing over the artillery as they get close. They're just in range of my front line as well, so they can fire any, uh, on any large monsters that are in the front lines as well to weaken them. That's one of my favourites here, it's the Luminarch of Heesh. Yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous as well. Got the little dude holding the scroll and his uh, candle, and the other guy holding the ball. <laughs> I think, yes, yeah, so you need someone to hold a candle at the front. Yeah, well, you know. Well, actually, they have candles on the horses as well. I was going to say, you can't just let anybody it's take them. It's very important. But, yeah. Um, so we've got more spearmen then on the flanks, so I've just kind of gone for a nice balanced build here. We've got a, um, a Pegasus uh, with, a, with a light wizard on top. Um, so we'll get to some of his spells throughout the battle, but we've never seen a light wizard before, I don't think, um, and they're very, very powerful. They're they're kind of more used for like buffing and, and using hexes more than uh, direct damage spells, but we'll get to that. And then my favorite unit, which is the Demogriff Knights, uh, out in the woods. They're actually hidden over here. Um, they're very heavy shock cavalry, very good, probably the best shock cavalry you can get, but they're very slow. And they look absolutely brilliant with their shields that are actually like demigriff shields and stuff. It looks really, really nice. So do you have a, a strategy here with this or, or are you just kind of going to play reactionary and, and see what, what is going to come at you? So I, I did play reactionary, basically. Um, and we'll see that they throw some things my way that you just cannot plan for. But what I'm doing here is putting, keeping my artillery back. I am downhill, which is a problem. But even if I deploy at the front, I'm still going to be fighting downhill, and I can't move my artillery anywhere really. And I didn't want to just bunch up completely on the left side. You know, I wanted to go for like a nice, aesthetically pleasing battle as well. So just for those of you who are going to say like you should have been on the left or up the hills, I thought about it, but I thought I could do better from down here. Um, so Joey mentioned it earlier, but it's worth mentioning just one more time. So every unit that you see that we're playing against or with is in the base game, whether you own any DLC or not. This is what your game will be like when you're playing against the Chaos Warriors. Um, however, if you do pre-order or you get the DLC after release, you will get access to play as Chaos Warriors and get some extra additional units um, and some legendary lords. That is correct. And we're kind of kick-starting the, the combat here with... Well, a lot of artillery fire. Yeah, so the the, the rocket battery is firing away, um, and they're firing their hell cannons at me as they move up their chariots and their giants and keeping their army kind of together as they move around the monolith. Um, yeah, but the giant's in no rush. Look at him. No, he's just chill. He's you know just casually <laughs> walking along. I think he just got smacked by one there, um, one of the volleys. So it looks. It looks fantastic, the flame trails coming out of the Chaos Knights. I love that. Um, the sounds are amazing as well, the sounds of the Hell Cannon screaming as it, as it goes by. Um, I believe it's like souls or something trapped in the, each, each blast. Turning souls into crackling bolts of energy. Yeah, so you can kind of hear them whistling and screaming as it's they go by. Nice, is it? Um, speaking of not very nice, this wasn't very nice. Arcane has casted a burning head. Um, and. Oh, and a flamestorm. And a flamestorm, almost one after the other straight away, which is absolutely tearing up my front line. So I guess he didn't like me tearing up his front line, it was my artillery, so he just went and did the same to me. But he did a lot of damage. My, one of my best units, the Halberdiers, has lost almost 50 guys, I think, so that's quite quite a significant So problem. what are you casting now? So I'm casting the Net of Amintok, uh, which is a 10 second hex that stops everybody in their tracks. Nobody in that in that zone can move. Um, so that allowed me to give it gave myself time to fire on the giant, and that's the reason I did it there. Basically, to slow them down, to, so that some units hit my front line, that they don't all hit it at once, and allows me to get more shots in before they do. Um, but you can see they very quickly the Chaos Knights like over on the left of it engage my cavalry. They haven't spotted my demigriffs, so my plan is to send my demigriffs out and around behind their artillery now and take out their artillery. Every shot they fire with their artillery is damaging my leadership, which is you know what morale used to be in the older games. So I don't want my guys to break and run away. Um, you can see some of the guys are starting to run actually at the front. Because of the giant that causes terror and the trolls that are encroaching, that causes terror as well. 
So I brought Carl Franz up to use Stand Your Ground, which is basically just gives you an instant uh, area of effect leadership buff and also enhances uh, defense and melee attacks. Very, very strong. And you can use it over and over and over again uh, after like a, a cooldown period. It doesn't affect the, the winds of magic. Oh, you've got the Comet of Cassandora coming down. So they were they were quite bunched oh. up. I think uh, they they have a metal sorcerer in there. I mean, they were, they were doing something. I'm not too sure what it was, actually, but you can see the VFX. But they all bunched up when they cast that ability, um, to obviously, to get the area of effect. But it was an opportune time for my Celestial Wizard to fire. Now, their giant is actually broke and started to run away, but he could, he could reform. So I got my Luminarch to fire on him. Oh. And it was a perfect, perfect hit. I think I think it actually brought him down to like one HP or something, and then one bullet uh, knocked him down uh, from one of my gunners. So that was really, that really was good. That was nice. So you only seem to have one, maybe two units routing. I think one's come back to you now. Yeah, so they're just routing. Hopefully, like these units that have like 40 in them that are running away, they should come back if they just get clear of the, the engagement for a while. So it's going okay. You know, it's going all right. We're holding our line here. Our spells have kicked off right. So um, I don't know how you've done. I'm, I'm quite intrigued to see what what the result. Well, of this I don't want to is. spoil it, um, so we'll just have to just have to wait and see. But, well, so uh, far you're doing pretty well. Doing okay. I wouldn't. Yeah, it's 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 been it's quite tough. You know, I'm losing in some areas, winning in some others. Everybody's engaged somewhere, um, and the guys that are uh, breaking, I'm trying to like reform them as quick as I can and bring them back in. Um, my demigriffs now have just engaged their artillery, so hopefully their artillery will now be offline. Uh, you can see them out there. Yeah, one of them's actually gone. The other one's just about to go as well. Excellent. So you've used a demigrip just to wipe them out. Oh, chariots in the rear. The yeah, that, that was a massive charge. So chariots have like insanely good, you know, uh, like charge bonuses that just throw your ch units around. But there's only four in a unit. So, oh, here I was actually really worried that Arcane was chasing down my Celestial Wizard. He looks was, very afraid. <laughs> yeah, he's going straight for him, and he actually like, kicks him to the ground as well. So. Um, <laughs> He's in a he's in a spot of trouble, I would say. So I'm getting my gunners to fire on Arcane as much as I can. Their knights seem to have gotten the better of, of me over there as well. They're kind of now pushing into the center from behind, which is really really dangerous. That is a bold move from Arcane just to come directly in. But so I had it is, but he, it's he's much better than a wizard, you know, in combat. He's got a massive flame sword, um, so I was trying to quickly activate his. Um, his chain lightning vortex spell before he died because I have a lot of winds of magic and that's a very powerful spell and I just managed to get it off um, before <gasps> before he uh, kind of routed um, so usually when you're in combat it's very difficult to enable spells that's why I had to click it a few times and it, it did a good amount of damage but then it kind of you know spooled off into the distance and didn't really hit anybody so I brought my celestial wizard in and tried to activate his one um, which is banishment which is just an, another vortex same thing kind of happened you can see it in the distance there it, it soaked up some units it kind of pulls them up towards it like the uh, similar to the purple sun um, well the vortex spells are, are very good against multiple units especially in that kind of setup that you had there where there's many units all pulled in yeah so I've, i'm getting a bit worried at this point you know a, a lot of areas are starting to break there but they're still kind of bunching up so i activated those two vortexes really as a last ditch effort to kind of annihilate that section but they didn't quite go as well as they could have they kind of as opposed to the flamestorm which ran through my front line, my one kind of hit them initially and then moved off into nothing. And I, could, I have so many units that are just running away now and I'm trying to see who's available and bring them all back in. It's really, really not looking good at this point. You have six, seven routing units? Oh no! Yeah, and some of them, I've lost some units, so some are, are completely dead, <laughs> um, never coming back. And it's hard to micro, like trying to zoom in and show the combat as well as micro. Uh, my demigriffs are out in the distance, not even doing anything, so I'm bringing them into the fight as quick as I can. Uh, getting my Celestial Wizard, who has gotten away, I'm trying to kill Archaeon, so casting a Wind Blast on him, but I actually kind of miss, and I hit the units behind him. Um, well, he's dead now. <laughs> yeah, so he's been chased again. I mean, Archaeon has a serious, like, problem with my Celestial Wizard, and <laughs> he's going to take him down. So I'm trying to focus everything on it. I'm turning my Luminarch, actually, to face him as well. If I could get a good shot off on Archaeon, um, it might actually turn the tide as well. So your demigurus are kind of coming in there, which is good. They're downhill. Yeah, they're kind of going downhill, hitting the marauders as well. Uh, Carl Franz is, I'm trying to pull him out of the combat now because he's kind of surrounded. Uh, pulling all my, my sword infantry and spear infantry back into the center as much as I can. Um, but it's not looking good. I mean, at this point, it's really like, I don't see a way I can win. Um, there are no. <laughs> I've been quite outmatched. Um, now, full disclosure, I played this a couple times and I came very close to winning one time. Um, so it is possible, but 
this time I think magic just didn't go my way and I didn't micro very well uh, as I tried to zoom in on things too much I think but it is winnable um, so yeah just not by just, you yeah maybe not, <laughs> not by me but it takes practice it was a difficult fight um, but it's not over yet so we're still like I'm still I've, I've had a comeback from this kind of thing before where but I have spent all my magic usually at this kind of point in the battle if you've got enough magic you can still maybe turn the tide if they bunch up or if you kill like their their legendary lord um, so here I was like, okay, I'm going to go into first person mode and just fire directly on these guys. Turned out they weren't manning their guns anymore because they were engaged in combat, but here I am firing straight on them in first person mode. You can do this by pressing insert. Um, problem was I was actually kind of hitting my own uh, light wizard. Uh, which you can't hit your own light wizard! <laughs> I, I hope I didn't, but I think I did. Um, and he's actually routing now as well. Um, so there I am again activating just the leadership buffs to try and call these guys back into the fight. It's like, come on guys, Carl Franz himself is flying above you, demanding that you come return to the fight. Um, but these guys are terrified of the Chaos Warriors. You could hear them early on, uh, hopefully. They literally say it in the deployment, you know, like, we can't win this, this is, the Chaos are too powerful. Um, which is really, really cool. Uh, oh, that's a lot of units lost, and yeah. a lot of routing units as well. Your artillery is now completely offline yeah and uh, no one is manning it my luminarch it was wavering it just came back and they're getting crushed by oh. by another uh, charge this is brutal it is and this is this is what chaos warriors are you know you're going you're going to play the game and have to deal with numerous invasions um, to be honest they kind of had higher tier units than I did they had their you know their chosen they had four units of chosen I only had two units of uh, great swords so I couldn't hold my line as well but I had more units overall so um, and more magic um, wielding units. Uh, unfortunately, it just didn't go right. Um, so this is a last ditch attempt to try and kill Arkeon. I fired a magic missile at him and just missed. Um, his his health was actually like quite considerably low. That, that it might have actually done something and caused some of them to rout, but it wasn't good enough. Um, and now he's completely enveloped. So I think we'll just have a little listen, and look at the look at the combat for a second here when I zoom in. Oh yeah, and I was trying to get the Luminarch again, just to fire an Archaeon. I was doing everything I could, just to, if we could maybe kill him, just maybe, <laughs> it might do something. There he is, getting kicked around, and he's activating spells as well to kind of buff his troops. Oh, the Light um, Wizard's coming in to help there. The Luminarch yeah, everyone's, just missed. Yeah, everyone's coming in. He actually just activated the Flaming Sword of Rune, which gave all his units 22% uh, weapon damage uh, for 13 seconds. So that's what all the VFX are popping off now. You can see everyone's just like fighting it out. But Carl Franz, you know, he's lost and <laughs> he's not coming back from this. Uh, but he's, he's not going down without a fight. He is like pushing everyone around. Um, and that's it. So he broke, he ran away, and Carl Franz is hopefully going to get away and retreat back to uh, Altdorf maybe and defend against another Chaos Horde if he can muster his troops. Well thanks for showing us that battle Darren and let us know what you think and what army composition you would use in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more videos from Total War Warhammer.